When you think of animals that live in Australia, you might think of kangaroos or wallabies or Tasmanian devils. But this story is about another animal that lives in Australia. It's called the koala and how the koala shows conservation. See, koalas are often called bears, but they're really from the marsupial family, which simply means they carry their young in a pouch. Now this saves time for the mother koala because her young are always with her and she doesn't have to go back and forth to a nest or to a den. You know, it's kind of like carrying a backpack, which is a big pouch. <laughs> if you were to spend a little bit of time packing what you need for a trip or gathering your books and supplies for school, then you don't have to go spend extra time going back and forth to home or to the store to go get something because you have what you need, like a koala. You see, time is very precious because once you spend your time, you can never get it back. But if you think ahead, if you get prepared, if you do things in an orderly way, you can conserve time like a koala. Now another way that koalas show conservation is by saving their resources. Now if you see a koala in a tree, it's probably a eucalyptus tree because that is one of the few things that koalas can eat. Now koalas chew their food very slowly and very carefully so they can get all the water and nutrition they can from every leaf. And if they bite off too much food, they don't let it go to waste. They save it for later by storing it in the pouches of their cheeks. You see, koalas make the most of what they have and they waste very little. See, conservation means making the most of your resources and wasting as little as possible. So for example, don't take one bite out of an apple and then throw the rest away. <laughs> that would be wasteful. And don't fill up your cup with milk and then only take one sip. That would be wasteful. Or don't let the water keep running while you brush your teeth. That would waste a lot of water. See, being a good steward of resources means you make the most of what you have instead of wasting it. Now, another way to conserve resources is by carefully spending money, whether that's your money or someone else's money. See, it can be very tempting to get the newest and the fastest, the neatest thing at the store. Or maybe you see something that your friend has and you wish that you had it too. But is it something you really need? Can you afford it? Is it the best price? Is there something else that you'd rather do with your money? You see, it takes wisdom and patience and self-control to be a good steward of your resources. But this shows that you have the character that it takes to be trusted with even more resources later. So we talked about saving time and we talked about saving resources. But another way that koalas show conservation is by saving energy. You know, even though koalas will eat one or two pounds of food each day, their eucalyptus diet doesn't supply much energy. Well, this is why koalas sleep much of the day and they move very slowly. See, they conserve their energy so that they have enough strength to find their next meal or to climb high in a tree away from danger. Now, as a person, you can save energy. You can save energy by just turning off lights or electronics when you don't need them. It's kind of like a flashlight. See, when I need the light, I turn it on. But when I don't need the light, I turn it off to conserve the batteries. I don't want to waste the batteries. I want to save them. See, you can also save your own energy by getting the nutrition, the exercise, the sleep that you need so you can be rested for school and to concentrate on your work. So whether you conserve energy like electricity or conserve energy of your own energy, that is like a koala. See, conservation applies to many areas of life, including food, 
and money and clothes and toys and books and cars and furniture, uh, water, electricity, and the list goes on. So remember the koala and be a good steward of your resources. Look for ways you can use less, save more, and get the most out of what you have. And that is the lesson of the koala.